Just to think that I actually listen to you hoes. And just to think that I actually even wasted my time. And just to think that I actually even did that shit. And that shit didn't even fucking work. I wasn't even originally supposed to have my surgery the weekend that I went. Originally, it was supposed to be in September. Listen, I was checking my email because it was Sunday, right? I was checking my email. I'm like, okay, well, let me check and see what time I'm supposed to be at the place to go and get my surgery. Man, I go on my email and instead of it saying August, bro, why did it say September? I got so mad. I was like, when I say my heart jumped through, my, like my heart literally, it fell through the floor. Like it fell through the floor. I'm like, bro, if I literally tell everybody that I literally just came all the way down here to Cali and literally just planning on getting this surgery and I can't even get it because the day is not right. I was like, if I get on the internet and they don't see me with something done, they're gonna be like, boo, like we're not supporting you no more. So I'm like, ugh. I literally got on the phone, I called my doctor, I explained to him, I'm like, I'm down here, I got my COVID test, I got everything that I was supposed to get. I'm thinking I was supposed to have surgery this weekend, but it clearly says September. And I literally did not even know because I, I, I told them August because my daughter's birthday is in September. Man, when I say he called me back, like literally 30 minutes later, he called me back and he was like, hey, he was like, um, and just asking me questions. He was like, so you're here in um, Cali? I was like, yeah, I got my Airbnb. I've been staying here. And I told him I literally have everything for surgery. I'm ready. And he was like, well, he was like, okay. He was like, so here, this is what we could do. We could schedule you for surgery. I was like, now listen, when I told my brother, because my brother came down there with me. When I told him that I was like, bro, the day is not right. He got so mad. I literally booked us a flight back. He was like, man. He is not about to book you in surgery. Like, he was like, you got to be realistic. He's not about to book you in surgery. He's not going to have no times. He's not about to do it. I was like, listen, man, I, I swear to God, my brother can vouch for me. I was like, listen, one thing, one thing that God don't do, he is not about to play about me, period. Like, what's meant for me is going to be for me, period. I don't care. Like, I don't care if my date was like set, you know what I'm saying? I knew that I could still get in because I What's meant for me is going to be for me, you feel me? And that's just how God be showing out for me, you feel me? Sure enough, he called me. He told me to squeeze me in and I end up staying and get my surgery. I wanted to record it so bad. I was just like so, like my heart was so crushed. <laughs> like I was like, oh my God, everybody about to be like, bitch, you a captain of us, bitch. I was going to literally deactivate my Instagram. I was going to be like, look, I don't know. I'm not getting on the internet. Like, I was going to be feeling so crushed. I swear to God, I was going to be feeling so crushed. But I ended up getting my surgery. Right after I woke up, woke up from my surgery, I felt great. Like, I felt, I felt absolutely great. Like, my whole healing process has been so fast. So many people have been reaching out to me on Instagram saying like, oh my God, you heal faster than me. Like, oh, I was still hurting. Oh, I was this. Oh, I was that. Oh, oh, oh. Don't give a fuck. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, like, honestly, now this is the tips that I'm going to give you. If you are planning to have surgery, I definitely highly, highly recommend that you change your diet. I literally changed my diet. I was not eating meat. Let me tell y'all what I did before I had surgery. The week that I had surgery, I literally... I literally detoxified my whole body. I was drinking aloe vera water um, along with like, you know, just purified water. I was taking vitamins. I was taking vitamin D. I was taking iron like a month before. I, I regularly take vitamins, but I was taking all these vitamins before I had surgery. Vitamin D, iron, 
definitely taking vitamin C, cranberry juice, turmeric. Um, I was taking, um, what is another one that I was taking? Um, zinc. And, um, I was just re, I was just, um, you know, rotating those vitamins. I was taking them like, you know, um, and, you know, just eating like a lot of, uh, vegetables. I didn't eat no salt, a low sodium diet. I really didn't eat nothing. I just ate vegetables. I ate really, really healthy um, before I went and got surgery. Like I, I've been changed my diet up um, so fast. Like people can't even believe it. Like the only thing, the only thing that I, that I really had a problem with is like my stomach is so tight. I can't lay on my stomach like. It took me a long time to like fully lay like without balled up because you gotta like they tell you when you go home you gotta lay like this like it took me a long time to actually like lay cur like you know straight because of my stomach is so tight and honestly I think that's really like the only thing that I'm still trying to get adjusted to is my stomach being so tight because I'm so used to my muscles just like you know just chilling out and yeah like I ended up having to take the drains out myself because I did not have nobody to keep my daughter. I didn't have nobody to keep both of them because my husband be working. So I had to take the drains out myself and I posted that video. Make sure you go and watch that. But overall, I'm just so happy with my results. Like, if you're watching this and you're debating about going to get surgery, do it. Like, do it for you. Don't do it for no nigga. Don't do it for nobody else. Do it for you. Like, I'm, I literally feel like I got my confidence back. I got on a belly shirt right now. I can show my belly button. I can get my belly button pierced if I want to. You know, my stomach is flat. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a less thing that I'm insecure about. Like, I'm, I'm extremely happy. Like, you know. Overall, like my experience with the doctor that I chose was was good. Like I'm just so grateful. Like I really don't even know what to say. It's so crazy because I healed faster from me having my tummy tuck than I did from my C-section. And that's sad. But nevertheless, I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. Just so blessed. Like I'm so blessed. I got to wait six months. I'm going to get a BBL. Um, I already put it on my deposit. And um, it's just some more things that I want done for me. And you know, like my husband, he literally supports me 100%. That's why I love that man to death. Oh. <laughs> but my man literally supports me 100%. And I love it. I love it. So, yes, I'm just, um, I just wanted to update y'all. I'm literally a month post-op. Um, I finally can wear my belly shirts. I didn't get no lipo at all. I've really been trying to, like, I really do want to work out, but I can't work out as much because the little fat that I do have, I do need for my little BBL. But, yes, y'all, I'm so excited. So, here is my stomach. Hold on. Here is my stomach. Like I said, I did not have no lipo. So, yes, I still have fat right here. And I've been eating crazy. I'm going on my little diet at the beginning of the month. But, oh, let me, uh. But, yes. So, um, this is my stomach. You can see I still got like a little dark circle around there. You know, it's still healing. I've been using like the scar cream that my doctor gave me. I still do have my little fat right there. They're going to take it out when I get my BBL and my waist is going to be so small. But until then, I still do have like, I don't have no fat like on my stomach. I do have like my love handle still, but when I get my BBL, that booty going to be I could finally hold on <laughs> I can finally show my stomach bitch <laughs> period yes so if I wanted to hip roll against some 
Oh, oh, yeah, I could do that. Mm-hmm, all of that. But, yes, um, my scar, I, it is still dark. My scar is still dark. I've been using, like, my little cream. It has faded it tremendously. And this is where I had took my drains out. As you can see, it's closed. Stomach is literally lit. Cannot wait to get my BBL. I'm so excited. As you can see, I'm glowing. And guess what? I cleaned up my room, y'all. I don't got to say, like, excuse my background because it's clean in here. And I'm grateful. Like, I'm growing. I'm becoming the young lady that I want to be. I've been so much positive energy. I'm like, look, I'm not second guessing no more because I'm that. I know that y'all waiting on me. And guess what? I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> but... Yes, y'all, I literally cannot wait. I got so many things that I, <sighs> I got so many things that I want to do and I'm just in a better space in life and you know what I'm saying, becoming, becoming a woman. I'm just so grateful, y'all. Thanks for supporting me. I hope you guys watch my videos. I'm going to make sure I enter them at the end. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you follow me on Instagram at http.on. Thanks, y'all. See y'all later.